26-year-old Taiwa Deogu has been repairing bicycles for six years, and for three generations, his family has kept faith with the spanners, knots and chains to eke out a living. Located on the outskirts of Lagos, Nigeria's commercial capital city, on Nagbara Road in Aton Otahogun State, his workshop, though local, bears the markings of a hustler who is determined to make his mark in the field in which his family already has a name. His work centers on repairing and rebuilding bicycles, mostly for children. With his apprentice, sometimes luck smiles on them. On occasion, they make a profit of about 1,000 to 1,500 naira daily. Yet, very often, there is nothing to take home at the end of the day. Repair in Nigeria yeah, is not really easy because of the tools. The government to help us in, in providing the tools for repairing the bicycle because um, the white men are improving on the bicycle on daily basis and the tools we are using here does not match the bicycle any longer. So even though we want to go and buy, get new tools, the people who are selling tools here yeah, they, they keep on complaining that they don't have their particular tools. According to Fortune Business Insights, the bicycle market witnessed an uptick in sales due to the rising need for exercise and health maintenance, while the global pandemic plunged the growth of several industries and markets. Bicycles are commonly used for commuting, exercising, hiking and sports in several cities around the globe. They are also eco-friendly, safe and a comfortable mode of conveyance. It's fun. I mean, it's 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 more gentle than a car. You feel more connected to the earth and your surroundings. Um, and it's also like a form of exercise, I guess, as you move along your day, you know. Definitely encourage people to ride more bikes um, if they have the chance to do it. For Mr. Talani Ojuri, who has been cycling in Lagos for about a decade, this is one thing he enjoys most, apart from his advocacy, on albinism. And we try to make sure that we ride at the time where there's not too much pressure on the roads. With, other, with, with motorists and pedestrians, we share the roads and hoping that over, over the years, the roads will be made wider and will accommodate more cyclists. While the government is doing everything to repair roads and transform the face of transportation in Lagos, commuting around the city is still not for the faint-hearted. It is still as clumsy and frustrating as ever. One way to get ahead of this is cycling. Cycling community keeps growing by the day. You keep seeing a new person in your neighborhood riding a bicycle. And the thing is, the more we have more bicycles, cheaper bicycles, and we have better access, I mean cheaper accessories as well, more people, if encouraged, will take up to cycling. They just need a little bit of encouragement. Cycling is a key thing in Lagos. We have a lot of traffic, a lot of portals, a lot of issues on the road. Um, and so really, how can we make this more uh, accessible? How can the city be more accessible? Um, and I think a good way is by using bicycles. But unfortunately, we don't have the infrastructure for that yet. So we really need to try to improve on that infrastructure. We need to advocate to government officials, Lagos State, even local government to kind of improve the, the state of our roads in Lagos so that people can feel more comfortable cycling and walking. While the fun and health benefits are glaring for all to see, can Lagos really embrace the bikeable city profile? Cycling around the world is seen as one of the safest and cheapest means of transportation. But for the first time here in Lagos, it could be a bit tricky riding the bicycle. Sarah Yeku, TVC News. Lagos.